feet. He's the heartbeat of the Italian Cross. side, Bortolami the captain, but Pause. Okay. Bind up, bind up. Con's return has Wait, been Wait, key. And that's another big scrum from Italy, but it goes wrong and Wallace seizes upon the ball and now Ireland get their chance. And there is space and there is Wallace again with his speed and he finds support and Shane Horgan is there and it's Horgan himself going. He has support inside from Easter Bay and now outside from Easter Bay. And what a try from Ireland. What a try from Simon Easter Bay. Well, that's exactly what Ireland would have needed. They put themselves under a lot of pressure there, needlessly, you could say. We were just saying that maybe they shouldn't be playing the flashy rugby deep in their own 22. Really came away with the ball at scrum time. He continued it on yet again. It was a great little one-handed pass to Easterby. Easterby did the right thing and given it to Horgan. Now, Horgan fancies his chances here, but as he always does so well, he rode the tackle, made the ball available. And that man deserved it, because so much of the work that Easterby does is unseen. This is the turnover. Wallace using his pace and his strengths. They were able to get the ball away. This time, Stringer securing the ball. Wallace takes it on again. Now, you knew that Horgan was going to get past Parisi. Parisi was... He really should have covered Easterby a little bit better, but he gave Easterby the outside.